Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Live with Sandra V. I can tell you, it's great to be back and to have all of you here with me today. Uh, you know, it's always my goal to inspire, educate, and promote others within the industry who share my same vision. And today, I want to introduce you to my two guests from United Supply Company because they certainly share my vision. So we have with us today Sandy Drum, who is the corporate trainer and in the marketing and development of new products. <laughs> Welcome, Sandy. It's Thank great you. to have you here. Thanks for having us. This is actually your first time it on is. the show. It is. Isn't it? Okay, everyone. Well, you know, give welcome. her some yeah, <laughs> welcome. Give her some claps and hearts with her thumbs up. And Karen Levings, who is a territory manager. And now Karen, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having us. Because you have been on the show with us mm -hmm. before. It's been a little I think while. We showed the split metal when it first came out. Oh yes, that's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Back in the day. Yes. I mean, it's been like a long time ago now. Uh, <laughs> I know, doesn't it? So um, you know what? It is exciting to have you here. And these ladies are just a wealth of knowledge, and they're going to really focus on, you know, the angles and the curves and the arches, you know, hard, the hardware for all of that. Because, you know, we have those windows out there, um, you know, we get that call from our client and say, can you treat this window? And you're like, you kind of, you know, kind of takes your breath away. And so you are providing a lot of options for us. Um, so thank you for that. And I am impressed. They've been here setting up um, and I've been, you know, looking at the different um, pieces and the rods. And I think you're really going to be impressed. So please, I want to ask all of you to go ahead and share this out for us today uh, because um, there are a lot of folks that will want to know about this hardware because uh, I know we see a lot of questions about it out there. How That's can right. I, how can I treat this window and how, what do I do to create a, you know, a template or how will I get it right? So, yeah. And we just want to make you feel more comfortable with that yeah. and let you know that you've got a support team at United Supply to help walk you through that. Yeah. Perfect. And you can treat those windows. That's right. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. You can. Now, um, you know, before we get started on, you know, the product that you've brought today, Cindy, you all carry a lot more than hardware. That's true. So tell everyone a little bit more about United Supply. Right. Well, United Supply Company um, started back in 1962 in Charlotte, North Carolina, and now we have showroom and fabrication and distribution locations in Charlotte, in Atlanta, in Raleigh, in um, Nashville, in Pittsburgh, as well as in Chicago. So yes. I, I didn't miss anybody. Um, <laughs> not only do we have drapery hardware and we distribute several lines of drapery hardware, including select drapery hardware, select wood and select metal, Kirsch, um, Forest, Giffer, Giffer, or um, Metal by Altran. So yeah, we have a lot of different lines. So the good part about that is that it just expands your offering to your client. So if it's available in select, um, you've got choices and finishes there. And um, diameters and then maybe you move over to Kirsch that gives you even more finishes available yes. more um, diameters and then when we get into metal we've got forest we've got um, metal by all trans select metal so we just have a wealth of products in drapery hardware and then not even talking about motorization we can motorize drapery hardware as well so in addition to that United Supply offers our own line of pinnacle blinds and shades. So we fabricate those in our Charlotte facility. Um, we distribute um, other custom products as well, shutters, um, Coronado natural woven shades. And then we have drapery lining. So a lot of a lot of offerings mm -hmm. in drapery lining and then um, other products as well. Karen, and we've got pillows, pillows. and they're on special oh. to the end of the month, 50% right. off. Five cases, some more. Yes, oh, I love your pillows. I I have to tell you, I can just interject. I I love your pillows, uh, and that's your kind of my go-to for well, lining we pillows. We appreciate that too. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they have a really um, nice fill. They're nice and full. Sometimes you know some we get different. Um, what do I want to say? Fills or different quality, you know, right. with with different uh, other different uh, companies. 
pillow company suppliers, I should say. And so I really do and appreciate it. And also, I just want to interject, too, that, you know, my headrail system, my go-to headrail system um, with, when it comes to, like, the, um, the chain operation mm -hmm. is the, you know, the forest group, the RBS right. system yes, for RBS Roman system. Shades. Yes, I love, love, love that. But, of course, we do use you for a lot of other, other products, too. Great. Yes. So thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us, um, for including us in this broadcast. Yes. So we're really excited to be here. All right. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm going to step back and let you ladies um, do your thing. And if there's any questions, just pop them up and we will, um, from time to time, stop and answer any questions that you might have. Great. All right, ladies. It's all yours. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. We, um, as Sandra said, we're going to focus today on some um, specialty options with drapery hardware. And we wanted to kind of go over what most of you probably received from us recently with some new products from Select Metal. And I'm just going to show you quickly, and Karen's going to demonstrate this. This is our Metro collection. And um, there's a Karen is holding up the Metro now. Yes, and this is available in 16 foot lengths, one and three eighths inch width with a four and a half inch return. And if you notice your brackets are just like our regular select brackets. So, and this is great for stationary panels. And if you need to do a traverse rod, this is where this fascia came from. You know, we had the existing fascia on the flat fascia. Mm -hmm. This is the select metal traverse rod um, that can handle up to four pounds per foot. And we had introduced the flat fascia in metal and gave it a contemporary look on a traverse rod. And we just got such great response with that product that we decided to offer it as a stock mm -hmm. item with rings, with and the brackets. rings are lined so mm -hmm. they're not going to scratch the pole. Exactly. But with rings and with brackets and with a choice of two different end caps. So this one we're calling a metro finial and on the other side is the end cap. Yeah. Thank you. Great. So that is, um, that is just shows you the option between a um, a full round pole or a stock pole, um, in that case a flat pole and a traverse rod. So a lot of times just to tr just deciding what you want comes in between, you know, do, do you have um, stationary panels or do you have functioning panels? If they're going to be functioning and your customer is going to operate those draperies every day, then a traverse rod is usually a better solution for you. So when we're talking about traverse rods, a lot of times it's because um, you could have really large windows. You could have heavy draperies that are maybe lined and interlined. But sometimes when your drapery gets really wide and that that rod becomes wide, then sometimes you need to splice it for shipping purposes. Let's say that um, that it's oversized and you want to be able to get it into the home or get it into a freight elevator to get it to the right location. Sometimes you want to specify that you are splicing a rod. So what we've had um, available before is a spliced where it's spliced right in the center. And this is a traverse rod with a fascia. So we were able to splice that right in the center for you. It's hard to see where this meets, but if you are able to see that, just remember that it's probably going to be about eight feet up in the air. So eight to 10 feet up in the air. So your customer may not notice it as much as if you're looking right at it. But one way to counter that, if you were concerned that that um, center butt right in the middle of your drapery um, might be objectionable, then we do offer, again, a splice track, but this is called an offset miter. So when we splice the track, you will receive a um, splice bracket, but then you also offset that fascia. So it just matches up a little bit better and a little bit less noticeable. So it's not right there in the in the front. So if you need a track spliced, and let's say that you needed it spliced so that 
um, you wanted to save on freight. With freight costs being so high now, we have um, found that a lot of people will order this spliced. We'll go ahead and cord it as mm -hmm. one track and just fold it to ship to you. But then, um, so when you go to install it, we're including a, a splice bracket and then the fascia is spliced together. And Karen, what is it with the freight? Is it over eight if, feet? If it's over eight foot. Now, actually, for FedEx and UPS, if it's half an inch over, they're overchar there's charging for oversized now. So Correct. we're very conscientious of this. Yeah. So this might help you to save on some freight charges if you're um, if you're shipping a product. So just know that this offset um, splice is available. And, and sometimes ahead. you know, you'll have to go common carry no matter what you do. That's depends true. on the length. So just That's remember true. that. Okay. So let's say um, when we're talking about that, sometimes we could also be talking about a metal. And with a metal traverse rod, and if I can have that one, Karen, with a metal traverse rod, you know, we could not miter cut that metal. So what we offer with that is an internal splice. So we slide, um, we have this internal splice that joins together the two pieces of metal fascia. And of course, this is a little bit hard to put together and it's a little exaggerated. This would, of course, fit together much better, but we have recently introduced a splice cover. So when that is on, then you don't notice at all um, where the two come together. So think of it as like a keystone or an additional piece that just makes it a little bit more seamless. So that is a way to splice a metal track. Um, differently than you would with the um, with the wood and we've got that we keep referring to this one brochure you probably received it in the mail from United Supply but with this um, on the back it shows you what a wood I'm sorry what a metal um, fascia butted together looks like then the fascia with the new splice cover and then here's an example of the splice cover as well as the internal splice so it's sometimes good to see an actual piece um, working like you see here, but there is always great photography. And just know that we have an excellent team of, of um, product development and product managers in our Atlanta office that, um, that totally head up the select program, both select wood and select metal. So we always welcome your feedback. If there's something that you're looking for, um, we're able to implement that um, sometimes very quickly, just knowing what your needs are. So please always communicate that with United Supply. And so many of the ideas that, that we have and new products that we come out with come directly from feedback from you. So moving, moving along, um, we've talked about splicing. Mm -hmm. um, a, just a straight rod, but sometimes you also have maybe a corner or a mitered window where you have two or three windows that come together at an angle. Right. So there are ways to treat that as well. And um, just with, if it were a traverse rod, this has a wood fascia. And what we've done with this is we have just specified miter cuts and we're able to put this together and miter the fascia so that it makes this look um, like one rod. But just remember that these operate as three individual units. So this one, um, you may have this be a split draw and these be the left and right be one way or however you want to operate that. But just know that each one would be controlled separately on a bay with three individual tracks. Mm -hmm. We can also do the same principle with a um, with an a corner window. So right here, we just had um, a track that came in the corner. So maybe the glass came right to the edge, and you needed to make sure that we didn't. Um, you know, maybe there wasn't room for finials, or maybe you needed to cover all of that. So with this, we again just had two tracks that came together in the corner, and then we just miter cut the fascia. So it gives you a nice, nice clean I look. I see that. There. Look at it. Yeah, can I you see, see that? Karen Stone. Oh, so <laughs> sorry, for that. sorry, sorry. There we go. That is a nice miter. Yeah. So really it just miters nice miter. Okay. So 
anytime you have a specialty window like that, you know, let us know. We may be able to, um, to help you think through that. We try to show all of this in our literature, but just don't forget about it because it, it can give you that nice custom look and, and completely um, finish off the window treatment for you. So that gives us um, some options with both miters and with um, covers and splices. So that treats a bay window as three individual um, or, or two individuals with a corner. But let's say that you needed a, a um, you wanted that to operate as one drapery. Maybe we just want it to split draw and open all the way. We don't want three individual um, tracks. So what United Supply does offer is curved and bent tracks. So with a with a curved, that's what Karen's holding up, that's curved with a metal fascia. And we also offer a bend, but a bend we can't do in metal. We can only do a bend in our select. And this uses a resin Fascia. So it's called a flexible fascia and this resin, this happens to be unfinished and we'll finish that in any of the select colors for you. So this could be a continuous curve mm -hmm. or this product could be a bend. Do, please note too, we will finish these in any of the Sherwin-Williams or your big uh, paint me patterns, basic colors, white, antique white and things like this. So just give us a color you want us to match and we'll paint it mm -hmm. for you. Correct, or any, or any of the select colors also. So just remember, this is the flexible fascia, and we'll talk about this a little bit more as well. So with the, um, with the bins, you could, um, you could specify um, two bins. You could specify more if you needed that. So we've got information that we need you to know anytime we bend or curve a rod we do require a template and sometimes templates scare people and they're like wait a minute do you have to have a template can i just send you in two business cards so with that we um we thought that it would be very helpful and our folks in atlanta put this together just some worksheets on making a template we wanted you to feel more comfortable with what we were going to require so we're going to um, just kind of walk you through that so you'll so you'll know that on a um, on a um, bay window, let's say that you didn't want to do a continuous curve. I forgot to mention one thing that we can do with traverse rods, sorry, is we also have a hinged elbow. So with this, I have two tracks with select metal fascia and this is a hinged elbow so when we go to mount this in the window because this is adjustable this can take the angle at your window it doesn't have to be exact because you can adjust that on site so sorry i forgot your to installer will love you for this because he's not going to cut it yeah that's right he's no, not going to cut it with, 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 is that for the select metal? metal that's for mm -hmm. the select metal, mm -hmm. and it works on a um, one and three sixteenths fascia, okay. and um, where you have two traverse rods that come together, then they are joined. Right angle, right? They are or joined angle. with this hinged elbow. Mm -hmm. Correct. Wow. Okay. Mm, yes. So that's a nice option. You can always use that hinged elbow on a full round pole as well, but just know that in addition to a full round pole, it can be used on a Trevor Shrine. That's well. correct. Okay. Oh. So, sorry. So now yep. I just got myself back on track to remember that, <laughs> that now we want to talk about templates and what you need from um, what we're going to require. And if you're doing a curved pole, and as I said, any curve or any bend, we do need a template. So the first thing, and again, I'm kind of referring back to this brochure that we've talked about, but on this, um, there is a drawing at the bottom showing a curved window. And with this, you can see that there is an A measurement 
across the front, and then a B measurement, which is what the depth is. So when you have those, when you give us just that A and B measurement, maybe you go out to your client's home and you just get those two measurements, we're able to give you a quote. So as long as you specify, are you looking for a full round pole or do you want this to be a traverse rod? If it's curved and you give us those two measurements, we can get you, we can get you pricing. And also, we want you to please tell us if this is a rod measurement or if this is a wall measurement. That always matters. And then any other special details. So once you have a quote from United Supply Company and we will provide you with a quote number, that's important because any communication that you make with us about that template, you'll always refer to that quote number and then that way we can make changes and we're all talking about the same thing. So let's say that you are ready to go um, to go back out to the customer's house and make that template. So the first thing that we you, you've already gotten your quote, the first thing we need you to do is to come up with some heavy craft paper. That is the best thing to make a template with. We have had other templates come in. Sometimes we've had it on Christmas paper. It's, <laughs> it's nice and it's festive, but sometimes this one happened to be the same on, or printed on both sides. So it was a little bit challenging to read this template. I think we made this work. We had it one time come in on newspaper. We've had tissue paper. We've had a, a whole, um, a lot of different things. One we had, someone was very creative on this template and they had a lot, it was heavy paper, but they had several pieces that they taped together. So with that, that had to be hard to put together, but it worked. Um, but I think had they just had one heavy piece of craft paper, it might've been a tiny bit easier. So anyway, we'll, we'll say that we went out to the home with one, big piece of paper. Sorry, that's a little loud. <laughs> okay. So as we as we are at um at the customer's house, we are making this template and what we need to provide is as we draw this template, we need to know as you draw this out, what is the rod, where does the rod end? Give us again that A measurement, which across this way was 56 inches. The B measurement here was 12 inches. So this should match what you gave us mm -hmm. on the quote. And then it's always important for, to know where that rod ends. A lot of people draw it right off the paper or the paper stops and we don't know where the rod ends. So it's always important to make that template be the actual um, template of the window. So as long as you have that, we're, we're good to go. On the, um, so, as I said, a very important measurement, is it a wall measurement or is it a rod measurement? So Karen, on this one, the template says it's a wall measurement. So um, Karen's gonna hand me the- um, Hopefully the right one. The right one. <laughs> the rod that was bent- <laughs> Google there, don't they? That was bent as a, as a wall. So with this, we're imagining that we have the brackets, and can I have those brackets, Karen? Yes. So with the three and a half inch projection where that rod would come and you can see that it ends here perfectly. Now I took the same template and asked them to make for me a rod measurement. So on this, this full round pole is a rod measurement. So with that, and actually Karen, we have that. Move this over. Okay. You got it? Can you, can you see it back? This actually is the, the rod measurement because mm -hmm. it matches that exactly. This so one that is right smaller spot. is the, the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can see how much difference it came in the length of this mm -hmm. and also 
um, in, in the, if you were to measure that across, what that difference would be as well. So if someone asks you when you're placing, um, when you're getting a quotation, is are you giving us the rod measurement or are you giving us a wall measurement? That might be the most important question that they ask you mm -hmm. because it really makes a difference. They're also going to ask you the return. Um, this happens to be three and a half inches, but you could specify if you had something more, we could do something um, different from that as well if you needed it. So just know that that's an, an important measurement. So we'll take this down. You would use this same um, template making procedure if you wanted to make a template for a travel rod. So this is for a traverse rod, and this is the um, measurements that you would use for that. Now on the full round pole, as we stated, you could have the standard bracket, and we showed that as a wall projection, but something that might make that a little bit easier and your um, installer will love you for, this is called a swivel sock a swivel bracket and with this you are able to adjust left to right and then there's a set screw that allows you to adjust the projection in and out so not all walls are perfectly um perfectly square. plumb and square and everything else we know that so with this swivel socket your um your installer can then um have just a little, ever so much more adjustment on site. That alone, <laughs> just to learn that, I, I, we need Ken here to see this. But he'll be, he'll know, be happy, honey. Yeah, that alone is just like worth its weight in gold. I mean, it, I am like, I've been waiting to see this one. So. <laughs> exactly. So if you had, um, if you had been using a standard bracket that would be, you no know, adjustment to it yeah, at all. less forgiving, then, you know, you may have had to shim it out or do something else. So with this one, you're able to, um, to control, control it by swiveling left and right and adjust the projection as well. So this is a, this is a little treat for your installer. Okay, so we also have um, traverse rods, and with traverse rods as a continuous curve, they can be made manufactured in select metal. Select metal, we cannot bend, as we said earlier. We're working on it, so we hope that's coming, but just not able to do it yet. So just know that with this, it will be a continuous curve. And, and this is really a sample of what the flat, the traverse rod looks like. Or the fascia, fascia right? The, the fascia, rod. correct. So this gives you um, a, a um, traverse rod, overlap master. You could do this in ripple fold. Mm -hmm. You could do it um, in Baton pinch ball. plate. You could do it overlap or butt master if it's ripple fold. So a lot of different options. The same options that you have available on your traverse rods um, are available as a curve as well. Okay. So whoops. So with that, um, we've made our template, but let's say on the, um, we've always been able to curve, but we weren't able to make an arch before. So here are the worksheets and you'll have access to these. You can contact United Supply Company or we can have a way for you to receive these. But this is the template making guideline that we keep referring to. Um, on this page just gives you the options that you, um, where you can choose the representation closest to your window. And then right there, it asks you for all of the measurements. And then these are just some basic guidelines, what we're looking for. We have great folks on staff at United Supply um, in Atlanta, in Charlotte. We also curve in Chicago. So they take those templates and make they make sure that First of all, it measures out properly, that it matches what your, um, what your quote matched to make sure that we're making it the way you want it. And then when we're finished, we lay the rod on top of the template. So we will make a 
a photograph of that and that will be in your order as well. So if the template is um, is made to fit your window, then that rod is made and photographed right on top of the template. So it, it should it's work in your just customer fine. file on that order. Exactly on your file. But so this is the template instructions for bent and continuous rods, but we also have instructions to make an arch as well. And when you make an arch, the problem if we ever had with an arch before was how did you how did you handle the rings? Um, some manufacturers offer rings that were welded in place or soldered in place and they're beautiful rods, but they are not very forgiving when it comes to installation. So what we um, at the, the team um, at in Atlanta, um, our select product development team came up with these rings. So with these arched rings, there is an internal ring that mounts onto the pole with a set screw, and then it accommodates a flat ring or a full round ring. So at any position, and I'm trying to see how we'll best show this, yes. at any position, it will hold that ring vertical. So you can see the ring kind of swivels as the, as the curve of the window would happen. So it's illustrated very well in, oops, right here in the um, in the catalog that we sent out and you've got a little drawing of the way that that ring will stay vertical when it's in position. Yeah. The nice part about that is because the, the internal ring is put on the rod at installation, your installer can move that from side to side. So instead of taking a drapery back to the workroom to have to have an adjustment made, because the rings were welded in place, these are attached with the set screw. So it's it's much more forgiving. So just so you know, we listen to the installers as well as we listen yes. to, um, to the designers and to the workrooms when we're coming out with new product because we know what's challenging to them and we know what might make their life a little bit easier. So always keep that feedback coming to us and we like to be very responsive and um, answer your questions as quickly as possible and hope hopefully come out with a new product as well so this that is, is the big challenge I think in, in our industry and for oh, those of you out there listening tell me if you've dealt with you know arched hardware before right. is to wonder you know we're like you guys should come on screen I'm okay. in here <laughs> monitoring you everything real quick I'll hop in but it, it is it certainly is you know you know dealing with those arched um, windows that we have to you know the half Treat, round, right? The half round, exactly. It's like, okay, how are we going to, how's our drapery going to stay in place? What are we going to do? Do we have to have it welded? What if we have it welded? What, ha what happens if we have to make adjustments on site? Correct. So it just brings up all these questions and, you know, that we have to try to troubleshoot ahead of time. But to have an adjustable ring so that it, we can, you know, make the adjustment or even sometimes. I think, um, you know, for the rods, they might have, you know, well, adjusting, I guess, the rod or even the rings. Um, and so that, that is just, uh, that's incredible to me. Um, and I know, you know, there are a lot of folks are not having, a, uh, are not asking for a rod that goes completely around. But sometimes this is a solution when you want a curved rod on your right and Correct. you want a curved, maybe you call them that one I'll call it a curve, but it's probably arched <laughs> on the left. And you have, you know, kind of an open space in the center. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you just need to know where everything is going to go. So to have the adjustability, uh, it's, that's incredible. So what are, you, uh, what are you all thinking about? How do you think about this? What are you thinking about this? Um, does it solve any solutions? That's the yes. thing. Does it, it Does it solve a pain point? And uh, I believe it does. <laughs> Good. So thank um, you. Yes, no, no problem at all. And this was introduced. Sometimes we um, we have 
new product introductions in between when we produce new catalogs, but we don't like to just wait to, um, to hold this solution back until it's time to reprint a catalog. So we did, um, we did provide you with this supplement that this came out in um, 2019. So this is all the products currently available. And when the next printing of the select metal comes out, then all of these new options will be in that plus some new things as well. So that will be that will be coming. So that is the um, that's the arch. So just don't forget that. And on the arch, you can install this um, with our square bracket. That's a good um, option because with the square bracket, it swivels a bit, so it's a little bit more forgiving on an arch. You can um, can use that, or you could use standard brackets mm -hmm. as well. Okay. So that, that is on the arch, and let's see. So we've talked about preparing the template mm -hmm. and about the templates coming, um, coming back. When you receive, um, if we were working with a, um, a curved rod like this, maybe you've got a large window that is broken apart in sections. Know that we can also do some specialty options for you. We could do a multiple master. So maybe you wanted this as one continuous rod, but you wanted three sets of panels to join together. If they were equal distance, then we could do multiple masters on this and it right. doesn't have to be a, a decorative. We could do this on, you know, on a, um, a plain rod. But just know that that's available. If you think of a, um, a specialty option like multiple masters, if you have a pocket installation, tell us, tell us what your challenges are. And um, if there's a way to solve it, we are on your team and we're there to help you um, work through that. Yes, yeah, so we have tracks that we can bend as well mm -hmm. without a decorative facial. So that's right. And we bend, we bend in house. So the good part about that is that um, we are able to control that. When you send your template in, if we have any questions, we contact you right there. If we are bending it, and um, you know any any challenges come up. Um, we're able to just handle that in house. So we do bend, as I said, in Charlotte, in Atlanta, and Chicago. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that is. Um, so when you send your template, make sure you know what branch you're having it sent to. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Don't, that's true. Don't send your. If you're in Chicago, don't send, send it to Charlotte to be bent. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, but just con when you when you get that quote from United Supply Company, that quote is so important. That pre quote, if you will. Um, that way, we know what you're working with. We'll tell you at that point where to send your template when you get ready to make that. Um, we even have a difference in if it's a mail to address or if it's a ship to address. So we kind of like everything to come in FedEx or um, UPS. But if you'll just roll that template up in a um, in a tube, that's the best way to send it to us. Now, I broke my own rule and on, on the templates that I brought today, I had folded so they were a little bit... Um, a little bit uh, unforgiving here, but but it worked out. So if you roll it up and put it in a tube, that seems to. And be also the best remember, way. if you ship FedEx or UPS, you have a tracking number. True. US mail, normally you do not have a tracking number to That's verify. Right. That's right. And we do keep we do keep your templates on file at United Supply Company because once this is finished, we're going to crate it and and just you know, we love this rod as much as you do. So we're going to crate it carefully and ship it to you. But we're handing it off to, to somebody else. We're handing it off to FedEx, to UPS, to someone else. So in, in the unlikely, hopefully unlikely event of freight damage, we have got your template here. So if we had to remake something, then that happens very, very quickly. If, um, if, um, if you need your template back, we can certainly ship that to you. But we like to think that we, you know, if we keep it on file, then we've got it if you maybe needed, you know, needed something mm -hmm. replaced or whatever. And just know that we can always, we could do a double traverse rod. Mm -hmm. um, so the same guidelines that you use for making a, um, a curved rod, you could use those same guidelines for a double as well. That's right. Okay. So that is information on the um, 
on the curve. Did we have any questions on curves or bends before we, you know, kind of moved on on that? Yes, I haven't seen any out there, but let's okay. see if there's, um, sometimes there's just a little delay. That's okay. Out there, we've had quite a few viewers coming in. Good. Um, so yes, let us know if you have any questions so far. Okay. And, and as I said, these are um, what we just uh, provided for you because we had so many different types of templates coming in. Um, when you called in, each person wanted to know what requirements we might have. So as I said, our team in Atlanta put together this um, uh, template worksheet, if you want to call it that, just to kind of make it a little bit easier for you so that when you're at your customer's home or at the job site, we are giving you kind of a list of questions or what you need to come back with. So hopefully you don't have to make a return trip back out to the back out. And also we have a um, protractor available for you guys supply if you need one. So you just have to call the office and ask for one so you can put this in your corner. Okay. to give us our, the correct angle you've got. Mm -hmm. So there is a protractor available That's as right. well. That's right. So um, on as I as I was getting ready for this for this meeting um, and walked back to the back of um, of United Supply, I saw a beautiful um, large bay window. So it had two bins, and so it had the fascia, the flexible fascia, and it was custom matched to a select wood. And the wood was vintage gold and it was spot on. So it, I don't know if, if the person listening, if that was your, was your track, but I saw it uh, yesterday and it looked stunning. So we took just the flexible fascia. This is what it looks like unfinished. And then we painted it to match the vintage gold. The, the benefit of that is then you can use your stock finials on either end. So we're custom finishing the rod and then it's matching any of the select finials um, on the in the wood collection right to mm -hmm. right to your rod. So that's a good way to think about that. Um, we also can do motorization. So with with motorized rods, we um, have always been able to curve the Sophie rod. And with Sophie though, we had not been able to add a fascia. So when I was preparing for this, so you can thank Sandra, because we've been asking for it for a while, and we really just started working on that. But with this Sophie rod, we did curve the select metal fascia and mounted that to the rod. So that really gives you a nice, decorative option for Sompty. So um, that's a good, we're not able to do this with the flexible fascia. That's a little bit different um, because with the flexible fascia, of course it's flexible. So we, we have to put um, several mounting um, screws in place so it doesn't, um, doesn't try to flex back. But with the metal, that's pretty rigid. It's going to hold its shape. So when we attached it to the Sompy motorized rod, it worked out beautifully. And over here, so this is with the motor? Mm -hmm. this, this. Yes. This, this is the, the motor end. So this is where your motor would go. And just know that with, um, with select I'm, I'm sorry, with Sompy, that it can be um, ripple fold or it can be pinch plate. So and we have been doing this that. with SM Automatic already. Mm -hmm. Yes. And with, with SM Automatic, that's another motorized option that we offer and that we can do with bends, we can do with curves. Mm -hmm. um, that's just um, a motor that we've been um, curving and attaching fascia to for a long time. So if you need one of the flexible fascias, then an SM Automatic motor is, is our option for yes. that. So always tell us what you're looking for, tell us what you want, and then we can guide you because we do have so many options available and we'll guide you to the one that works best for your, for your uh, window treatment. Now, uh, I know you can do double rods. Yes. Correct. Can you do the double on the motorization? You know, shears are so are coming back. Right. You know, and so can you do that? This is still in testing. Okay. Yeah. Semi. <laughs> Semi testing. Uh, yeah. SM automatic. 
we, yes. yes. So let me, we need, let us find out before we answer that for, okay. for a curved, just to make sure, just because with the size of the motor itself, yes. um, you know, where you, would you have enough projection? I mean, would it be able to accommodate that much? That's and then right. if it's ripple fold, does it have that much depth? So mm -hmm. I would say no right now, okay. but that is definitely something that we could check on. For. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yep. Good question. The projection is going to be so dramatic at that. Yes, it yes, is. They are because I mean, you know yeah. this does not attach strict, strict, strict right onto the the curve. You've got to have a bracket. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's going to be the issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. But if it's something that you're looking for, sometimes we oh, we trying. know we know uh, there may be a solution out there, and we can we can try to come up with some options for you. Okay, so that is the um, the motorized, and we do a lot of motorization. So, and and people are becoming more and more comfortable with motorized products. Um, with Sompfi, we motorize our custom blinds and shades with Sompfi, and then we also motorize the rods. So we're able to. Um, use the same remote and control multiple products within the home mm -hmm. with the same type of remote. So just know that that's an option and, um, and something that also we can help you with. If you have questions about motorization, we're able to answer those for you and maybe direct you to the right size motor or the right treatment for that Correct. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So other products that we, or other things um, in the, the bent and curve that we want to talk about, I would, as you get that quote for, um, for your curved rod or for your bent rod, we are always able to quote you. Um, just remember there, there will be a curving surcharge. There'll be a crating surcharge. So there are a few things that you don't want to forget to add because then, you know, that, that hurts your profit at the, at the end of the day. So always contact United Supply, give us the most information that you can, and we'll be happy to provide you with a quote, and we'll be happy to provide you with any guidelines or, or information that might help you complete the job. And that means you've qualified your customer, and if you get the job, you haven't wasted any time. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. It also helps you, helps you know what to ask for. Okay. Right. Any All other right. questions today? No. Any any other questions? And you you showed us everything, and did you, mm -hmm. and you showed us that too. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was busy. That's right. Exactly. That's <laughs> right. I was busy. Um, exactly. And we uh yeah. So uh, any other things that we want to anything else we want to cover that while we're uh, while we're talking about hardware that you can can think of just know that we are currently working on uh, on a new select metal catalog okay. so um, I know that that new exciting things will be coming out so our last catalog was in 2017 but we have had um, updates and supplements come out but the new catalog um, will be later this year probably in the summer so as soon as that's available just you know, uh, look for look for new finials and new ideas. Um, um, Sally does a great job coming up with new products for us. I, I hope you you all love Select Metal as much as we do, and um, we're able to to constantly evolve that line and hopefully give you everything that you're looking for. Yeah. Well, okay. you do. You have a complete you know line and through you know metals and wood and everything. So I think it's exciting. That uh, you all, I'm I'm really excited about the um, the bent rod there. <laughs> good, good. Put with the rings. And so, what about you? Anybody out there um, have any questions that you want to ask? And um, we will try to get a, a PDF of this, the guidelines for right, the templates right. to make it easy to make it easy for you and, and put it into the um, file section here on the um, in this page page group, whatever right. it is on Facebook, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that you'll have easy access to it. Um, but again, remember that United Supply carries a lot more than just hardware, right? That's right. Like you said, and if some of you weren't here in the beginning, um, they carry, you know, blind shades and shutters and headrail systems and other workroom supplies. That's right. And linings and inner linings um, as well. And, um, and 
tell them again what we, your different locations are. Yes. Um, our, our home office is in Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's where we started. And then we have additional locations. And at these locations, we have showrooms. We also have distribution. So if you um, are near one of our showroom locations, then we offer local delivery to you. But those locations are in Atlanta, Georgia. They're in Raleigh, North Carolina. They're in Nashville, Tennessee. They're in um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and they're in Chicago, Illinois. So hopefully we've got a branch close to you. Um, we, um, we have a website, so you can take a look at that as well. I think we are currently working on some changes to a new website. So that, that is and another, another mm -hmm. update yeah. coming. Um, so always new, new and exciting products. And, and again, we'd love to hear from you. So we, we'd love to hear your ideas and things that you're looking for. And maybe hopefully we can accommodate. Yes, yeah, okay. I think so. You you are. You're a great company, and I've enjoyed working with you all over the years. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been, it has. It has been a long time. Thank you so much. If you have questions, um, if you're watching the replay, go ahead and put all the questions right in here. And if I can't answer them, you know, we'll She'll send them to us. <laughs> say, hey, can you answer this for us? And thank you for having us as well. well thank it you was a great you opportunity. We here. appreciate it. Yes, and you're welcome back anytime, too. Thank I you. would thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, everyone, have a great day, and we will see you real soon.